I wrote Wisdom of the Chinese Kitchen for Future Generations so that the classic recipes would not be forgotten. My strongest memories of my family are at the table, savoring delicious meals. Not until I moved to New York and began my career as a recipe developer did I realize how much I'd taken my parents' cooking for granted. I found myself longing for the taste of home cooking. Eventually, I began making trips to San Francisco to cook with my parents. We concentrated on my favorite comfort foods, rich, savory dishes with pure, simple flavors, which are the hallmark of Chinese cooking. Back in New York, I cooked the recipes from my notes. One of my all-time favorite meals growing up was my father's cashew chicken. It was an unbelievable feeling when I replicated it. And equally exciting the day I successfully made barbecued spare ribs, tender and juicy with a caramelized crust as delicious as my mother's. If a dish wasn't right on my next trip home, we'd cook it again. I went produce shopping with Mama a dozen times to observe how she selected produce. Never choose choy sum with wilted or yellow leaves, all signs of age. Dark long beans are better than the pale green because they have a crisper texture. Baba was so touched by my interest in his cooking that he insisted I must learn how to cut ginger so that it curls off the knife. In my notebook, I scribbled, Baba says, when you enter a restaurant kitchen, the moment they see you slice ginger, they know if you're the real thing. That lesson inspired the essay, Shreds of Ginger Like Blades of Grass. I love this one from Mama. Ginger must be scraped with a spoon. A vegetable peeler removes too much. Ginger peel, if left on, is more nutritious. Papa, my grandmother, feels people are frugal if they don't remove the peel, and it angers her. Our kitchen conversations lulled my parents into unexpectedly opening up about their past. For the first time, they shared with me long-lost photographs of my father's family in Guangzhou, Mama with her siblings in Shanghai, and stories from their days in China. In many respects, these stories are more precious than the recipes. In recording my family's cooking, I found myself on a journey that entrusted me with my culinary legacy. Now, when I cook from wisdom, I understand why home cooking is called comfort food. It restores the spirit, it connects us to our past, and rejuvenates the soul. Wisdom of the Chinese Kitchen is more than a cookbook. It's a memory book, a collection of hard-earned Chinese kitchen wisdom, and it is a daughter's tribute. The best part is sometimes when I'm leafing through the book, I come across one of my father's culinary gems that I'd forgotten, and for a moment we are together again. My family's cooking lives on in these pages. It captures the essence of Chinese cooking, and that's a gift. I'm Grace Young, and this is The Wisdom of the Chinese Kitchen.